What we're going to do is show you how to set up a really simple siphoning system. This siphoning system is set up so that if you fence off a dam, you can easily get water to a stock trough. It doesn't require any pumps, electricity, fuel, anything like that. It's just purely siphoning that's working over a dam wall down to a a spot that's further down the slope and the water is pulled over the dam wall down down to the slope so it's purely just gravity. The other thing that a siphoning system does besides getting water to your stock trough outside your fence dam is to get water down the creek. We've got a real issue across the region with not enough water getting down creeks. Our beautiful little native fish, the galaxias, they're really suffering and so if you've got excess dam water that you don't need for any purpose, a siphoning system can be a great thing that you can really help out your local environment by getting water down the creek. This is a, a very simple float. It's just 90 mil stormwater pipe with four elbows, uh, one metre by one metre, and then just a, some chain across the middle just to hold the inlet pipe up. Very simple. And we just attach the inlet pipe to the float and make sure that the end of the inlet pipe is down well enough submerged so it doesn't suck air. This inlet pipe has got a sieve on it and then it's got a one-way valve. This is a bit of a special one-way valve. It's called a, a swing check valve and it just operates with pressure. It doesn't have a spring in it. If you use a, a one-way valve with a spring, it can get crap caught in it like twigs and sticks and yabbies. This is a, a lot better for a siphon, a swing check valve. Just ensure that your inlet pipe and your valve is done up properly because any air that gets into this line will ensure that the siphon doesn't work. You want all your fittings to be screwed up properly. And I got a wet boot. All right, so the siphoning system works by getting all the air out of the line down to the dam. We've got an inlet line and getting all the water down to a, this line that comes over the dam wall and it's, we've got a, a valve down there. So the water will run down only to the valve. So we wanna get all the air out of these pipes and replace it with water. The water's flowing down either side this side goes down to the float and that float has got a one-way valve on it. So that valve is, is shut at the moment and it's blocking up the water. And this side, the water's flowing down to a, a valve that we've got turned off. So this water is just replacing all the air in the pipe. So if we now go down and turn on the valve that's below the dam wall, it should suck all the water up and over the, the dam wall and down to the trough and, and also down for your environmental flows. This is the pipe that comes from the, the filling point on top of the dam wall. Um, that filling point is often called the primer. You're actually priming the pipes to get the air out of them and the water in them. So I can actually feel this pipe, it's full of water. So this is the valve that we had shut we needed this shut so we could get all the air out of this pipe. So if I turn this on, fingers crossed, there's a trough just on the other side of that fence and hopefully that'll start filling up. Let's give it a go. We've also got a T piece and this line coming from uh, the line that comes over the dam wall. I can feel this, I'll just tighten that up. It's actually full of water. I can feel the water. You can hear in the background the trough filling up. So this, this line we've set up for environmental flows. This is the, the spillway that comes down and connects to the creek below the dam. If we want to get water out of the dam and down the creek for environmental flows, 
this is a, a, a really simple way to do it. So if I crack that open, you should be able to see water coming out of it soon. So that's the, the siphon working, working. It's sucking water out of the dam, over the dam wall, and the trough has now stopped because the water's now being redirected down through this line. This, this environmental flow line is, is also useful if you do have a dam in winter that fills pretty rapidly and maybe you've got a spillway that's really eroded and you, you don't want too much water running down the spillway. This is a great way to actually reduce the amount of water that's in the dam so you're, you're, you're protecting your spillway a little bit. Also, if you've got your freeboard, which is that distance between the full level and the top of the dam wall, if it's not that high and you're a bit worried about the risk of overtopping or actually slumping or that dam wall being compromised, you can actually reduce the height of your dam by using this when the dam is filling. We've talked about how you can pretty easily set up a simple siphon system that doesn't really cost you too much. Um, probably all the, the parts involved are probably less than 500 bucks plus the, the cost of the trough. If you need any more information, please contact Landscapes Hills and Flurio. Uh, just Google us and uh, we'll be able to help you out.